we don't believe in waiting for anyone or any African government before we begin to run with the vision that has been boiling on the inside of us. And as a result of this, we have resolved that instead of joining every other person in the world complaining about the possibilities of making Africa great again, we are ready to stick our desires into it. And that is why we are moving from one locality to the other, one country to the other in the continent of Africa to empower the next generation of Africans, which are the most vibrant, the most outstanding, the most futuristic youths that we ever have. And as a result of this, we'll be moving from one place to the other to ensure that these are our youths are given the necessary support to empower them to become the best at whatever they desire to do. Because we can all make Africa great again. And to do this today, we are going to be talking about our next flight to the eastern part of Nigeria, where we located a beautiful lady that would have been used for a most outstanding fashion designing contest. But up till now, that our desire has not been achieved because she lost one of her parents and things have never been easy for her. Despite she was having this little support from her stepmom. And today, I'll be presenting this presentation with my most yekebulous, outstanding, beautiful, sweet porero. You already know my name. I am that such the most handsome Yekebo African husband and her beside me, my... Good day, have a word. I'm Jacquette Soluani Setro. And we're always happy having you coming back to Setro's Blood Family. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, so what are you waiting for to this family? Just subscribe and press the notification bell. And please, we want to say thank you to all that have been commenting, liking, sharing, tweeting. Please don't stop. And a big thank you goes to all our patrons on this channel. You can also be part of our patrons for as low as $3 per month. The patron link is in the description box below. Some days back, we actually started the season one of this program. And it was titled, Where the Gold Comes From, the Rebecca Story. is the program dedicated to training African youth. It's called African Youth Development Strategy whereby we stop complaining about the situation in Africa, but we pick each youth from each strata of every African country and we begin to train them in their interested craft so that they become great and they can make us great. And we are promised to market them on the global platform that they'll be selling whatever they produce. So the first beneficiary was uh, Rebecca by name, and that was the Rebecca story. If you've not watched it, please do watch it. Today's story is another lady from uh, the eastern part of Nigeria, Sophia by name. The eastern part of Nigeria is like 10 to 12 hours drive, so we were unable to go there. But she contacted us when we sent out the, uh, the social media message that interested poor youth should, should apply. And she did apply. She said she has actually lost her mom and she would have her interest. She loves to be a seamstress that she would have loved to really know how to sew, but there is nobody that can help her. Her dad is a, a little a government worker and her stepmom just tells pretty things that she really loves to sew, but she, she, she has not even known how to do it. And we are fashion designers, but we train online because we have other... Uh, engagement that will not allow us to do physical training. And considering the fact that she's coming from the east, which is about 10 to 12 hours drive, there is no possible way we can go there to what to actualize our training. And it would have been easy for her for her to learn online, but she doesn't have the financial backup to be able to afford data to and a good phone to assess our training. So we decided to do what instead of sitting down and complaining that Africa is doing this, is that we decided to raise little funds and pay for our training over there. We decided to ask her to locate wherever she wants to learn the particular fashion that has been disturbing her mind all the while so that she can be 
empowered and not end up as a liability to the African continent. So she's going to be starting this Monday. Her fee has been paid by some faithful African lovers in diaspora. They are also Africans. They are on this platform. And because of the faithful Africans in diaspora, we told you their name the last time, a faithful, nice couple, Mr. Tunji and Sheon by name, and the Cetros, we've decided to help this girl get empowered by learning fashion in the East. You're going to see a clip, or if you've seen it, and she's so happy, and she's been, we promised that, that if she's so serious at it, we're going to get her own machine, and we're going to get our product to be, We'll be wawalizing it. Actually, we have the money to buy a first machine for her, but we are just waiting to see how serious she is at this training. We told the person to take her in, uh, in the training that we just need a maximum of six months. Because I tell you, in fashion, three months, we, we, train, we train people even in diaspora for three months. So with six months, we want to believe that she'll be fine and good. But before that... Three months before three months, if she impresses us with what she has learned there, we are going to pay for our machine. We are saying this just for one singular reason. By the time she has been empowered, the way she will pay us back is that what she will have to look for another three African youths to develop in that line of trade. And before you know it, do the calculation. If eh, by the time we have empowered. 1,000 African youth within three months. That is our plan. That is our target. 1,000 African youth within three months. That means that each of those 1,000 would have what? Help us to affect the life of three African youth. And we'll have how many? 3,000 African youth. All over the world. All, all over the continent of Africa, rather. And I tell you, with this will be able to reduce the number of people that these foreign influences can pay little money to and use them as thugs to disorganize our community. And that's just it. We want to keep it. This is we saying it raw today. I want to make a plea out to you. There is no favoritism or anything in on this platform. Once you know a youth that is really poor and it's from any African country, yes. we already have some persons from Benin on the line. Yes. We are still trying to get their clips and all the likes. And once you know anybody that is from any African country, any youth that is still that is very poor and wants to learn a trade, not wants to go to school, wants to learn a trade that plumbing, address, whatever trade shoemaking. Any trade that they are interested in, that they can produce something that will make Africa proud of and that we can sell so that we start exporting like China. They will not be the one to be bringing their everything. We, we will be doing our everything. That is it. So please send them to us. And anything they are producing must be made in, in Africa. Africa. Made in Africa, not made in Chon Chon, not made anywhere, but Africa, they will put the name of their country. of their particular country there. That is how we will get improving by the day, improving by the day. That's the slogan. The slogan will be made in Zambia or made in Nigeria or made in Ghana, proudly African. Africa, yeah. That is it. Proudly African. Proudly African. That is it. We're already making Africa great. So I don't know if you want to join the train. It's on. You can also be part of the... Yes. You can also be part of the supporters of this African. It's the communal spirit of training Africans. If you have them anywhere, tell us, let's know, and we're training them. And, and quickly, let me chip in this. If you have the mindset to join us in training these African youth, we have a closed group where we sh share the all the bank statements, everything we have. All of us have access to it. You are seeing what money is going for what and what is going for this so there is openness in terms of that then secondly even if you are not interested you don't want to get yourself involved with in terms of monetary terms and you have this particular skill you have a particular craft you are into and you can help us to train three or even one african youth for free please help us we'll be so glad we will be so happy to see that African youth, we are reducing unemployment, we are empowering this youth, this young chap that can still run with their muscles and make Africa great. 
and any of their products. We are not just training them, you know, there are numerous empowerment strategies here and there and there. No, we are not just doing that. We are creating a platform for them to sell their products that people will begin to order online and it will get delivered to them. And on this show, on this channel, we'll be bringing their product and be showing you what these young chaps have mm -hmm. started making. And that's it. On today's show, we can't just but be so happy that these children are being changed. So that is just it. So till we come to you in, a, in the next episode, uh, in the next show, we remain the Cetros. Keep loving, keep smiling, keep safe. Thank you. Catch you. Bye-bye. And here is the compound. And here is the compound. My uncle, my uncle is not around. So my uncle's wife is around. I would like, I would like to be tired so I can see. The one she's my uncle's wife. Mm -hmm. My name is Miss Yanacho Kiro Kadu. Like I said earlier, I'm, I'm from Imo State. I'm first child of my parents. My dad is a government worker. And also I'm a student. I'm schooling at Avan, the Koku College of Education already. I'm doing SE program. The reason why I see myself as a poor girl is because my dad is a low income earner. He found it so difficult to train me in school. Let alone know of telling that I want to acquire and if any skills, especially sewing, because I mean, I have so much have passion for that. I love sewing. So I tried to, to do it on my own, to do it alone, but I think it's so difficult for me. That's why I, I, I like, that's why I'm like, I'm helpless. That's why I need someone to help me to achieve my dream, to achieve my, to, to, to achieve it. I want to be a seamstress. I want to, I want to learn to super that. So much love that skill very well. Thank you very much, ma. That to ma. Here is the antique shop. Here is her shop. This is her. Payment of the learning is 40,000 naira for a year. Why is 20,000 naira for two and for six months? Good evening, everyone. I'm so to Sophia. I'm so happy this evening. I want to say a big thank you to Central Block Channel and the Committee with African Youth Development Strategy supporting, which have been helping you to acquire skill. I'm so happy. They have really helped me to acquire my own skill. My sister now, they have made my payment to go and out to sew clothes. I'm so happy for that. They even promised to buy a sewing machine for me. I'm so happy for that. I say God bless them. Thank you all.